Well, Secret of Mana, one of the greatest games that came out for the Super Nintendo back in, I believe, 1993. It was the game that brought the RPG to life through the JRPG style of genre. But today we're going to be talking about Visions of Mana and how the devs are completely ignoring the westernization of video games. How this one is probably going to be something to watch very closely on. Square Enix series producer Masaru Oriyama has declared that rather than bringing in new fans by changing the action RPG line's core identity, he hopes to do so by celebrating those elements which have made it popular in Japan for a long time. And I have to say, I am excited for this. This is going to be a return, a return to what made video games amazing. I, you know, the back with the Super Nintendo, Secrets of Mana was revolutionary in that sense. The Super Nintendo in itself was revolutionary, but Secrets of Mana was just a totally different style of game. You had the three party members, which I believe if I, if I remember correctly, you could control them on two separate controllers where one person could play one character and the other person could play another and run around like that. It was one of these RPGs that didn't really, wasn't the norm. It wasn't even close to the norm. And you always had the creatures on screen, you're fighting them, very much so what we see with a lot of video games now, like Final Fantasy VII and the remake, where the, the creatures, you are always able to attack them. We are seeing, we're going to see that in Visions of Mana. Oriyama, who has served in his position since 2009 for the port of Secrets of Mana, they ported it to the PS4, made clear his disinterest in chasing a wider audience during the March 2024 interview with video game news website Automation. Well, you know what? Don't chase the audience, the wider Western audience for sure, because it is toxic beyond grief right now. Those that want to bring in uh these gamers like you have homeland security you have all these government agencies pretty much telling us all that us gamers are extremists and terrorists and all this other stuff so why in the world would you want to bring a game to that genre but this goes to show you we're not extremists we're not terrorists gamers are just gamers they want to have fun they want to have a game that they can sink time into lose themselves and just enjoy and visions of mana looks like it's going to be one of those games and it's going to be one of the new held an instant classic I missed a larger discussion of the creative direction he and his team would be taking with the upcoming visions of mana or Yamada was at one point pressed by outlets as to whether or not he had seen a difference in reactions to the announcement of the series next entry between Japanese and overseas players. In Japan, there are many people who are playing the series for a long time, are familiar with the RP's history, so the reaction has been half expectant and half anxious. The producer told the outlet, on the contrary, overseas players showed a lot of controversy about the game and what it entails, including if it would be available on platforms that they own. The difference between the reactions is somewhat interesting. From there, Odiyama uh, was asked if they had any plans as you to how you'd like the Mana series to reach out to Western gamers in the future. To which he asserted, I get a feeling that many people who picked up Secret of Mana in 1993, at the time it came out, were young like I was because I regularly received feedback from people who play the latest entries through the lens of their childhood experiences with the series. I hope that they, as they grow older and become parents, they will recommend the Mana series to their children and tell them how, how, about how it is fun. And this is what really brings that home. 
I have a little one. I, he's seven now. He's growing up. He has an interest in video games already, um, but he doesn't know how to play them. And in a couple years, this will probably be the type of title that I could see myself sitting down and playing with him especially with the Super Nintendo that I I have sitting behind me. I can't wait for the day that I can actually sit there and play these games with them um, and do that much more. And this is where I am at right now. I've been playing video games since I was four years old. I bought my own Super Nintendo at 11 years old with my own earned money. And this is the type of game that I would sit there and myself, my, my former self would be giddy over. And now, as I'm an adult, much older, uh, this is something that I can probably enjoy. Especially if something like this, if I can play this on the channel and go through the, the entirety of the game and just sit back and relax to a brand new RPG in the Japanese style telling, it's going to be something worth saving and it's going to be something that's it's going to be an instant classic i can tell you right now with the way that they are approaching this how they're saying that they're they're trying to in, envelop the people that grew up with the series that know the series that are going to pass it down to their kids this is how video games and and gaming and like toys in general used to be marketed to kids where did it all go wrong where did this turn around and become more about the narrative design, more about changing the, the, the games and just trying to rewrite history in the games. It's absolutely disheartening what we see in video games today. But this one, this one I think is going to be heralded much better. Well, when it comes down to these styles of games, these visions of mana at this point, I am happy that they are saying no to the Western world. Make the games your own, make them unique, show off the Japanese culture in this game, actually show off the game that everyone that you know everyone will play because it goes back to the norm. It shows us that this is still possible. Saying no to the Western devs isn't the end of the world. The Western market isn't even the biggest market. The, the biggest market out there is the Japanese Chinese market for video games. There's more players on that side of the world that play video games than there is in the Western market. The market here is tiny in comparison to that. So there's no reason to, to give anything up and uh, you know what, just keep on making great games and the gamers will be happy and they, they will be entertained and they will happily give you hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars. Anyway, I've been your proud Canadian Phoenix. I'm Cinder Shadow. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.